known. All right, we are live. Uh, we, we, we are live. Correct. All, all right, all right, it's, it just came on. Good. Um, and uh, uh, Lady K, you have it. All right, praise hear. the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Good morning. Praise Lord. the Lord. Lovely morning. Hallelujah. Thank good you, morning. Jesus. Still good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He's still good, even in the snow. He's still good. Yes, yes, he is. Yes, he is. He's still good. We have our activity of our limbs and our health and woke up to see the snow. So it's a good thing. It's a good thing. God has been good Amen. to us. We're, we're going to just open up today. We, we don't apologize for the weather, but... Uh, mm -hmm. We weren't able to do communion uh, due to the weather. So that will be next Sunday. So just stay excited to fellowship with our sisters and brothers in communion next week. Uh, but today we're going to open up, uh, just gonna have a, we're gonna have a word of prayer. I'm gonna ask, um, as we get ready to go into prayer, first of all, I wanna do the prayer list which we want to be praying for Deacon Greg. Amen, amen. God is a healer and he's healing him right now. Wherever, he, where he's at amen. right now, God is there. So we know that. I uh, want to be praying for Evangelist Cheryl Waters and family. Tomorrow is her sister Helen's service. And we do have information if anybody would like to get on virtual for that service. I think Pastor myself will be traveling to the service of all as well. Um, also Bishop Yancey and family, as we have been doing each week, we know that God is, is a healer and he's strengthening him day by day, amen. Uh, let's continue praying for the lots, brother Jerome and sister Mary, uh, as he is going through some medical challenges himself. Also our own pastor and, <laughs> and our entire family that the Lord will uh, continue to heal, strengthen, deliver, and set us all free. Amen. <laughs> and uh, our Highway Church family, we want to continue to pray for those that we don't see, for those that we do see, those that we know are going through things, the things that you don't know, things seen and unseen. So at this time, I'm going to ask Mother Greg if she would take us to the throne of grace, because we know that prayer changes things, and God is a miracle worker. Amen. Unmute. She's, she's, is she muted? Yeah. Oh, that's still muted. Mother, you got to unmute yourself. Unmute, Mom. Keep praying. <laughs> okay. Dear Heavenly Father, we glorify you, we praise you, and we thank you. We thank you, O oh God, for this another day, another day in which you have made. We thank you, dear Father, for your grace and mercy that yet abounds. If it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, O oh God, where would we be? But because of you, we live and have our being. We thank you for salvation. We thank you for yeah. grace. Thank you for prayer. We thank you for thank unity you. and oneness of the spirit. We ask and pray that you continue to bless our pastor, Bishop Carl A. Turner, Lady Karen Turner, oh God. Ah, oh God, the Lot family, the Waters family, and all those and bless and strengthen yes. Deacon Monty Gregg. As you yes. continue yes. to heal them, oh God, as you continue to raise yes. them up, we thank you, O oh God, for what you have done and what you're going to do. Uh, Take nothing for granted, O oh God, because it had not been for you was on our side. Where would we be? But because of you, dear Father, we live and have yeah. our being. For yeah. this, we're forever grateful, O oh God, because you are Lord and Lord and King of kings in our life. Continue to move by your spirit divine. 
Continue yeah. to walk up and down that hospital, oh God. Continue to walk up and down the ether ways, oh God. Ah, God, move in a mighty way. It's in only a mighty way, Jesus. Uh, we thank God. you in advance, oh God, for oh, what you want to do, and that did you already done. Yes. Those things that are not as though they were, and you are our healer. You are a deliverer. Yes, and you are. Thank, you. You. thank God. And all those that are watching on Facebook, oh God, continue to bless each and every one of them as we continue to move in your grace right and now. your yeah. mercy. In yeah. Jesus', Jesus name. We pray. And our soul says, Amen and Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. And we pray for strength even for mother. On today, we pray for strength as Zeke is is healing and recovering. We just pray that God will continue to touch mother as well. Thank Amen. You. Amen. Amen. As she goes through her journey. We, we know God is a, he, he is a way maker and he's a healer. So we already know that. So yeah, that's what we stand in right now. Amen. Amen. Um, in the way of announcements for this week, um, tomorrow again is Evangelist Cheryl Waters sister service in, in Maryland. Um, also on Tuesday evening at seven, all ministry directors and assistants have been asked to be on a Zoom meeting and you should have received a letter via email requesting your attendance. Um, so if you are a director or an assistant director, we're asking that you get on this same Zoom line. I, I believe it's this one or Deacon Pay. I think we've already sent it out. Sorry if it's sent out. Um, Get on and be on by seven. Uh, we're planning to do a seven to eight meeting. Amen. Uh, trying to get our year together because we still have to do ministry. We still got to do ministry, even through Zoom or virtual or whatever. Um, communion has been uh, postponed until next Sunday. And the the we were going to celebrate Pastor's birthday on the 28th. Um, his birthday is the 10th this week, which is Wednesday. Um, he will be turning 70, so somebody give God praise. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I mean, we didn't, who knew he'd make it to 70? Who knew you'd make it to 70? <laughs> uh, I'm climbing behind him, but I'll never catch up. So uh, <laughs> I'll, be six, I'll be 68 on Friday. But praise the Lord. He's the big dog. He's going to, to seven up. <laughs> This is his year. It's not my year. It's his. And we are going to do something a little different this year. Um, I'm going to, uh, Mother Greg and Jackie um, are helping me coordinate this. The 14th of March, I just changed the date on y'all. Sorry. Um, we want to have enough time that everyone can participate. We want to do a challenge for everybody that can do it. One dollar for every year he's been on this earth. One dollar for every year that he has been on this earth. Amen. Amen. And Amen. It's Sunday, March the 14th. We want the cards and we don't just monetary gifts. We want to do um, a dollar a year for every year he has been on this earth. And that's $70. Amen. And Amen. Bless you beyond that, then you know we take the overflow. <laughs> but we're looking to get as many as we can to do a dollar Amen. a year. I ain't try to get blood out of y'all. Just, just, just a dollar a year. Um, and we're going to extend it a couple extra weeks. So we are going to do it on Sunday, March the 14th. Amen. You will Amen. see a flyer going out on Facebook about that shortly. Um, and I'm going to have Minister Tawana give her, uh, the announcement about this weekend coming up. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. We are so grateful um, just for technology and what it affords us, um, regardless to to what we face, we're still able to come together. So for that, I'm just so grateful. I'm grateful to see your faces this morning. And I just wanted to come by way of a reminder. Um, 
wonderful, wonderful, wonderful things are happening. I'm so just overjoyed for um, the blessings that God has bestowed upon our Deacon Greg being with us and, and Hallelujah. Listen, listening for more and more testimonies that he's sharing um, for different ones. But um, in light of that, of course, in the spirit of love, as you all know, we are planning to um, celebrate. It is. It will be Valentine's Day next Sunday. We are. Yeah. I'm excited about it. You know, having <laughs> communion on that day because it's still about love and and, and reminding yeah. us of our relationship Amen. with the Lord. Amen. So all these wonderful things are even happening on this day. Yeah. And so I just want to remind you that today is the last day for us to get your orders and your monies um, for the meals, whether you stay for the luncheon or if you want your meals to go. We need to know what it is that you want. Um, to have the menu is, I believe it's on the website or, or anything. If you need the text message with that information, just let me know, send me a text. Um, I try to get it out to you guys as well, but just contact myself or sister Christine today by 5 PM. I know the Super Bowl Sunday, so that doesn't start till six. <laughs> so you have up until 5 PM to let us know what you want, how you want it, and you know, to submit those funds to Sister Christine so we can make sure that we have everything for you for the following week. And that is all. Thank you so much and God bless you. Hey man, it was funny. Elder Rob looks like the kids. Um, you know, it's like I gotta pop in. <laughs> Y'all see me over here? <laughs> hey, hey Elder Rob. <laughs> <Bless you. laughs> Uh, at this time, we're going to move right along and we're going to go into a musical selection by our old minister, Kiara Moore. Can we give God Amen. a praise? That Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. I'm just going to ask you just for the sake and quality of sound that you mute yourself. Um, it doesn't sound good on the other end when we're all singing together because of the lag. But mute yourself and feel free to sing along with me with your mics muted. I really love the Lord. Oh, I really love the Lord. You don't know what he's done for me. He gave me the victory, and I love him, I love him, I really love the Lord, oh, you don't know what he's done for me. Yes, he gave me the victory, and I love him, I love him, I really love the Lord, oh, I know what he's done for me. Yes, he gave me the victory. You don't know what he's done for me. Well, he gave me the victory and I love him. I love don't know what he's done for me. 
He gave me the victory, and I love him. I love him. I really love the And we give God a praise for that beautiful, Hallelujah. Yeah. beautiful selection. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Just give him a wave offering. Yes, I really God. love him. I really hey, love him. Lord, I really oh, love him. Yes. Thank you. I really, really love him. So you, at this time, without further ado, I'm going to introduce to you our pastor, Pastor Carl Anthony Turner Sr., who will come forth at this time. And we give God Amen. a praise. Amen. 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 Uh, bless you all. Uh, can, can you hear me all right? Amen. Turn my volume up a little bit. Uh, I'm, I'm blessed. I'm blessed today. We are blessed to uh, come together, um, even though the weather has prevented us from going into this sanctuary. But um, we are the body of Christ. We are the Amen. church. Amen. The, the church has, has, has come together. Uh, um, I was trying to tell Sister Carla Kane, she gets the reward today. She was the first one on um, af after me. Uh, uh, but uh, then uh, Deacon Greg came on and, and I lost it uh, then. And uh, we're just so excited uh, about what the Lord is doing in and, uh, and through his life. I want to say the Lord has laid it on my heart. If you want to join me, Vegan uh, uh, Pedro, uh, I, I work him like a Hebrew slave, but I, I, I'd like you, for you to set me up uh, for a Zoom call seven o'clock this evening. I'm going to lead the prayer. I'm going. I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray uh, th uh, this evening. Uh, well, I, I don't know how long the prayer will go. We just. Just going, if you want to join in with me, fine. If not, fine. But uh, uh, prayer changes thing, and this uh, spirit of, the pr of prayer um, is upon me. The Lord has touched me um, to, uh, to 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 have this prayer uh, this this evening. Um, and um, if you want to participate in a midnight prayer, uh, Bishop Faulkner has a midnight cry tonight. Uh, that phone number, that's a phone number on a phone call. Uh, if you got your pencil and papers, uh, um, I, I will give you that number and, uh, uh, or, or you can contact me. 410-844-0588. Again, that is 410-844-0588. Uh, that's uh, Bishop Faulkner, Baltimore, they have what they call a midnight uh, cry. But um, uh, we will have a, a Zoom, a, a, a number, and we'll put a Zoom and, and Facebook as well. Uh, but 7 o'clock this evening, 7 o'clock this evening, meet me um, uh, on, on Zoom, 7 o'clock this evening uh, for, for prayer. Uh, we're doing a special uh, special prayer. Uh, just before I go into the word, I, I just want to acknowledge uh, a couple of my uh, nieces who are faithful um, in uh, our, our services. Uh, Phyllis Ransom, all the way from San Diego, California, um, is is there. Uh, some of you know uh, my sister, Sister Joyce uh, Patman. Well, Phyllis's mother uh, was Sister Joyce's oldest, older sister. And uh, I man, just tremendous uh, 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 women of God uh, from Washington, Pennsylvania, originally. That's where we grew, how we grew up. Uh, we used to call Washington, Pennsylvania, Little Washington. That's what we used to call it. I remember <laughs> my first car was a, a, a 56 Buick Special. And uh, uh, my brother had something older, and uh, we were trying our best to get up the hill. The, the transmission and everything wouldn't let us get up the hill from there. And um, uh, uh, a niece, Kim Reeves, 
which is Sister Jackie's sister uh, from Texas. She is always on. And if I'm in Texas preaching, she'll find her way uh, to get to the service. So, uh, 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 Kim, we're, we're excited uh, about you being there. And, uh, 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 and, and one other, Sister Walker, my daughter-in-law's mother from up in the Pennsylvania. I'm going to move on. I, I'm, I'm going to move on. Uh, uh, let, let me just say, uh, before I go into the word, uh, please, please, if you will, uh, um, send your offering, cash app, that's dollar sign, highway, word of faith, highway, word of faith, all one word, all together, highway, word of faith, dollar sign, highway, word of faith, that, that's the cash app, or if you have it on your phone, Givelify, G-I-V-E-L-I-F-Y. G-I-V-E-L-I-F-Y. Of course, we will take it any way you send it. Uh, we prefer you do the cash app. Um, we don't have to uh, uh, pay anything for that. And uh, Pastor Charlene Hennigan um, is sharing with us today. I can't wait till all of this stuff gets over so we can fellowship and have some church. Go with me to the book of Ephesians, um, chapter number six. The book of Ephesians, chapter number six, uh, uh, we will uh, close out uh, um, after uh, the message. I think there's a couple of other an announcements uh, that we have. Ephesians, chapter number six, I'm going to begin reading at verse number 10. I need somebody to pray for me today. Uh, um, I'm not used to preaching sitting down. <laughs> Uh, uh, amen. Amen. Um, Hebrews, Hebrews, Lord Jesus, help me. Uh, um, Ephesians 6 and 10. Ephesians 6 and 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principality, principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to, stand, to, be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. I want to just talk to you briefly uh, uh, and let you know uh, that uh, I, we are, well, I'm standing on a promise. I, I, I'm standing on a promise, and all of us are standing on a promise. There's a promise that has been given to us uh, that we need to take advantage of. And I just, there's an old song that says, I'm standing on the promises of Christ my King. Uh, through eternal ages, let his praises ring. Glory in the highest I will shout and sing, standing on the promises of God. And uh, that, that, that's the, the, the one thing that is so wonderful. And I'm going to talk about it a little bit later. Uh, when God makes you a promise, um, you can be assured that it will come to pass. This is where we need to, to be because when God makes us that, pro that promise, in that it is impossible for God to lie, you can be assured that the promise is coming to pass. He says, lo, I will be with you always, even until the end of the earth. Let me remind you that we can't put our confidence in man. We can't, I'm going to say that again. We got to, I'm going to remind you, we can't put our confidence in man. Some of us were excited to hear that Vice President Biden and Senator Kamala Harris 
won the election back in November. While we expect them, while they, they we expect them, well, while they were uh, uh, installed in January the 20th, the, the things that have occurred, amen, um, you have to understand that and is doing is causing some of us to wonder what will happen at this time. And, you know, we're, we're, we're in the midst of, of, of chaos. We're in the midst of turmoil. Uh, but uh, the Lord has made us a promise. Lo, I will be with you always, even until the end. A couple of Wednesdays, Wednesdays, couple of Wednesdays ago, I spoke about the enemy of the people. Uh, uh, don't you ever forget it, that there's an enemy out there who wants to destroy you, does not want you to be successful, does not want you to be blessed. Uh, you know, John calls him a thief. The thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and destroy. But don't hang up, don't get hung up on there, because if you continue the word, it, the Lord says, but I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Amen. This person who I refuse to acknowledge by name or position certainly exemplifies what an enemy of the state looks like. This is why our faith and confidence has to be in God that promises never to leave us nor forsake us. As a matter of fact, he says to us, I'll say it again, he says, lo, I'm going to be with you always, uh, always from the end, you know, always, even until the end of the earth. Um, the, there's a writer that says that some trust in horses and tr some trust in chariots, uh, but we will remember the name of the Lord. The reason why we're going to remember uh, his name, because there is power in the name. There is healing in the name. There is deliverance in the name. There is no other name given whereby we must be saved, but at the name of Jesus, at the name of Jesus, every knee has to bow, every tongue has to confess, and you must be born again. You must be born again of water and of spirit. I, I have to go there uh, for, for, for uh, just a moment because somebody has to stand for the gospel and tell the truth. The, uh, they tell the truth. I, I've been disappointed in hearing a few people uh, talk about, you know, come on now, just say the sinner's prayer. And if you said, uh, you know, I'm, these big time guys, I, I'm not going to call names. Uh, um, they said, if you say, say the sinner's prayer, I believe that you have just got saved. You have just got saved. Well, uh, you can say the sinner's prayer, uh, but you got to go further than that. Nicodemus asked the Lord, what do I have to do to receive eternal life and to get into heaven? And he said, marvel not, I say unto you, you must be born again of water and of spirit. He says, well, you know, I'm old now. How can a man be born again if he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb. I'm, I'm a little bit off the uh, 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 the lesson, but I, I, the, the Lord has taken me this way. Somebody needs to hear this. He said, how can you do it? He said, uh, I, I'm, I'm old now. Can I go the second time in my mother's womb? The Lord said, that which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Spirit. Marvels not, I say unto you, you must be born of water and spirit. I'm glad that I got some Holy Ghost filled people uh, with me now. Let me just tell you uh, uh, about what a promise is. Still talking about, I'm standing on the promises of God. <clears throat> a promise is a declaration or assurance that one will do a particular thing or that a particular thing will happen. A promise is a declaration or an assurance that one will do a particular thing. Hebrews 6, <clears throat> excuse me, Hebrews 6 and 13 says, <clears throat> please forgive me. <clears throat> Hebrews 6 and 13 says, 
and 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 I love I love this word. I love this. For when God made promise to Abraham, because he could swear by no greater, he swear by he swore by himself. When God makes you a promise, he makes a declaration. First of all, he's a God that cannot lie. He's a God that cannot fail. He's one that said, I'll be with you always even unto the end. And so now if you, if, if God has made you a promise and you know that God has spoken uh, um, to you, you can be assured that it will come to pass. As you know, we say he may not come when you want it, but he's always on time. He never shows up late. Uh, going back to Hebrews uh, 6 there uh, and uh, verse number 14 saying, surely, surely, Blessings, I will bless thee, and multiplying, I will multiply thee. And so after he had patiently endured, he obtained the promise. Thank you, Lord. After he had waited on God, after he had waited on, on God, how long do you wait, preacher, until God says so? Until he brings it to pass. He's going to bring it to pass. You know, he says one day, you know, is but a thousand years. We can't measure the time and the ability of God. We just stand firm on his word. God said it, and that settles it. Uh, you know, some say the, God said it, I believe it, and that settles it. I'm going to tell you whether you believe it or not. If God said it, it's going to come to pass. And so he patiently, uh, uh, Abraham, after he had patiently endured, obtained the promise, for men verily swear by the greater, an oath for confirmation is to them an end of all strife. But watch this, watch this. Wherein God, willing more abundantly to show unto the heirs of promise the immobility of his counsel, he confirmed it with an oath. Verse 18 says that by two immutable things in which it was impossible for God to lie. It is impossible for God to lie. We might have a strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold upon the hope set before us. Which hope? we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast, and which in entered into that within the veil, whether the forerunner is for us, entered, even Jesus made an high priest for after the order of Melchizedek. Here it, here it is again, wherein God willing abundantly to show unto the heirs of promise. You know, we are the seed of Abraham. And so he made Abraham a promise. And, and, and what, what I like about it, he said, Abraham, let me tell you how blessed you're going to be. It's going, if you can count the grains of sand on the seashore, then you'll be able to count the blessings that's going to overtake you and your seed and, and your seed. He says that your seed is going to be blessed. Your seed is going to be able to be participant of the promise of God. You know, some of us wonder why we are blessed now, the way we, we are blessed. Amen. Our forefathers, our parents, Lord Jesus, I remember hearing my mother and my father praying. When we lived in Pittsburgh, we had a three-story house uh, along with a basement, along with a basement. And uh, my parents stayed on the top floor. And some of us kids, there were a couple of kids up there, some of, other, of us were on the, the second floor. And Lord, I could hear uh, them praying. I could hear them praying, even when I didn't want to do right at the time. But thank God, I'm a shot. hallelujah. Thank God that blessing has been bestowed upon me. And I tell you, I bless God for the prayer. I bless God for the faith that they had in God. Then I 
not here anymore, uh, but I got it for myself now. I know in whom I believe, and I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I've committed into his hand against that day. Oh, somebody ought to just... Just bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, bless the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We're in God, willing more abundantly to show unto the heirs of promise in mutability of his counsel, he confirmed it by an oath, that by two immutable things in which it was impossible for God to lie, we might have a strong consolation. We might, we got something to hold on to. We've got something to believe in, that we may have a strong consolation who have fled for the refuge for refuge to lay hold upon the hope set before us. I, what are you trying to say, preacher? I, I, I'm so glad you asked. Uh, Numbers lets us know that God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he has to repent. If God said it, it and I will show, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. If God said it, if God said it. Now, I, want, I just want to tell you something. I, I, I don't mean any harm. I, 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 don't, I don't mean any harm. But you, you don't need somebody to prophesy to you to tell you what God says. If you talk to him, he'll talk right back to you. He will tell you what he's going to do for you. He will tell you, uh, even in the midst of your sickness, that you shall be healed. You shall be delivered. You don't need me to tell you that. You ought to have this strong confidence and relationship with God and say, he walks with me. He talks with me. And he tells me that I'm his own. And the joy that we share, there's a joy in knowing him. There's a joy in sharing the word of God. Hallelujah. There is nothing more disappointing than having a promise made to you that has not been fulfilled. You must understand that this is, this is attributes and the heart of man. Mm -hmm. it's, it's man. That's what I said in the beginning. You can't put your trust and your confidence in man. The only hope we have is in Christ Jesus. The real confidence is in God. The Lord told Peter, he says, before the cock crows, you will have denied me three times. Peter declared that he would never do that, but the scriptures proved his fault and his failures. The scriptures proved that it happened just like God said it. Mm -hmm. The scripture says that we ought to say, by God's help, I will never let you down, Lord. Well, I got to close. I, I, I got to close. Amen. I praise God mm -hmm. uh, for this day. And I lesson today, the word says to us, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. Uh, um, oh man, we, you know, I, I just think about the old song, old songs that we were singing uh, uh, about a closer walk with thee, a closer walk with thee. Granted, Jesus, if you please, you know, uh, I, I need to walk closer with him. Mm -hmm. a amen. And so he says, uh, he says, finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord. Finally, suggests to me that we have been trying but without much success. Finally, I'm going to do the right things. Mm -hmm. Finally, I'm going to surrender my life totally to the Lord. Finally, uh, uh, in order for you, for your finally to come to an end, you must decide to get dressed for the occasion. 
occasion. Mm -hmm. You might you got to get a, a dress for the occasion. I know uh, uh, some of you are looking at me and going like, man, you know, uh, Pastor got a suit and a tie on, a, a suit and a tie on. Uh, 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 listen, you, you don't have to wear suits. You don't have to wear a tie. It ain't, it's not the tie and the suit. Uh, 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 that that makes you it, it don't that don't make you holy that don't make you closer to to the Lord. Uh, uh, I, I was getting ready because you can't see what kind of pants I have on, although I have regular pants or uh, I could have pajamas. I'm sitting under this desk, but, but but just but just in my spirit, just for me, not for anybody else. Y'all don't hear me. Just for me, I'm, I'm going like you know I'm going to get dressed for the occasion. I'm going to church in my office. My office is junk. It's the messiest thing in the whole house. Uh, uh, but 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 right now I'm going. Uh, my wife's clapping her hand. Uh, God, God bless you. Uh, uh, but 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 for this moment, I, I'm, I'm I'm changing the atmosphere in my junky office. Oh y'all don't hear me. He says we got to get dressed for the the occasion. Put on the whole armor of God that you might be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. If you didn't know it before, please get it now. The devil doesn't mean you any good. He doesn't mean you any good. Well, if you don't believe it, uh, Ephesians 6, 12 says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And then the word says, wherefore, because of, your, of the fight that you're in, because of, of, of this, this engagement that you're in, wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that you might be able to stand, withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, stand therefore, make a declaration, I shall not be moved. I'll be like a tree, that's another song, a tree planted by the rivers of water, and I shall not be moved. Stand therefore, having your loins girded about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, and above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery dart of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation. And don't forget this now, don't forget this. And the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, which is the word of God. Just in this corner behind me, uh, behind me, even as I was just studying the other day, oh, I've got three or four Bibles uh, that 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 I bring out different different versions different versions of, of of the Bible. I've got a ton of Bibles over there uh, on on my bookshelf, uh, right? But I have I have made a declaration somehow that this one right here, this Bible, this is the first one that I reach for. The first one that I that I reach for every time I'm getting ready to, to you know to do something. He says to us that the sword having the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Listen, when you stand on the promise, you can sing like this little songwriter say, in the word of God, I have a hiding place of thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my pathway. Amen. Thy word is so as essential, he says, I esteem the word of God more than my necessary food. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> I close by encouraging you to stand on the promises of God. And having done all to stand, keep on standing. You know, when you feel like giving up, get just reach a hold and get another hold. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm finished uh, uh, preaching. I'm, I'm finished. Uh, when we were kids, 
used to have this game called tug of war, tug of war. Uh, some of you may know it. And, you know, we, uh, one team was on one side with the rope and the other was on the other side and we had a line and the, 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 the object of it was to pull against your opponent. So uh, until they would give up and when, when they crossed that line, you had won, you had won the fight. Hallelujah. And, and, and sometimes you had to readjust your hand and, and, and wrap it around. What, what are you trying to say, Pastor? What are you trying to say? I, I, I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to tell you, the fight is on, oh, Christian soldiers. Uh, uh, but don't give up. Take, take another stand. Take, take another hold. Get, get, get a hold of this rope and hold on and stand still. See the salvation of God. I'm here to tell you that God's going to bless you. God's going to make a way. And, uh, and, and can't nobody do you like Jesus. Unmute yourself. Give the Lord a hand praise and an amen. Uh, Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Yes, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory, glory to God. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you. Glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you,
Nothing burning. <laughs> ain't nothing burning. But, uh, <laughs> we, just wanna, we just pray that everyone has a blessed day. Thank you for uh, joining in today. And uh, some of us will see you tonight at 7. Pastor. I, I want to, I just want to uh, reiterate um, uh, the, the offering uh, cash app, highway word of faith, highway word of faith, cash app, and uh, Givelify, G-I-V-E-L-I-F-Y. I just want to reiterate uh, that um, 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 to, to that. It, 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 is, it is so amazing, uh, um, the technology and things, the technical world that we're living in now. Uh, uh, you know, you just pick up your phone, pick up your phone and do a cash app or give it a five, and, and it, it'll, it'll get to us with, and, uh, and then to our account and we'll be able to stay on top of things. The, uh, the, the, the boiler has been fixed. I've Amen. Got on that. Uh, the boiler has been fixed. So we've got, we've got that bill. Um, I'm not sure about the fire alarm. Uh, Deacon Keith's working on that. I know we gave him a deposit for that, for the fire alarm. And, uh, had put some oil in the building. Uh, so we, we thank you. We thank you for your ties. We thank you for your offerings. We realize that you don't have to do it. Uh, Mortgage we don't take it for granted. Yes, I was uh, but, oh, Yes, thank you. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Uh, a Deacon Pelt. Mortgage, pro mortgage production. Mortgage reduction. Uh, <laughs> $500. I have my $500. Uh, uh, for that go, going to send in. I've got uh, my 500 for that. I've got my ties and uh, uh, the mortgage reduction offering and, and regular offering. And let us not forget, <laughs> you go like, uh, Pastor, you asking for a whole lot. Let us not forget our first fruits, Amen. our first fruits offering. And, you know, those, some are paying on it. Some haven't done anything. But let us not forget our first fruit offerings as well, and uh, uh, tithes offering. Uh, uh, th th those that are are viewing, if you want to be uh, a blessing to our ministry, uh, we certainly uh, would be grateful. As I said earlier, cash app, high dollar sign, highway word of faith, all one word, highway word of faith, uh, um, dollar sign, highway word of faith, or if you have the app on the phone, give the five. And again, it's highway word of faith highway word of faith we love you uh with the love of the lord we appreciate all that you've, you've done and continue to do and uh we'll keep on holding on let's remember uh uh mother naomi collins sister cheryl's mother minister cheryl's mother and minister cheryl and her family um their sister uh um uh, honey help me out with her name helen helen Helen, 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 Helen who has uh, uh, who has been a, a blessing at our ministry. I mean, she has yeah. sent a thousand dollars at a time, you know, to 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 bless our ministry. Um, she's gone on to be with the Lord, and her service is going to be in Waldorf, Maryland. Uh, I ask you to pray uh, for my wife and I as we uh, are planning to to be there. Um, one of our four-wheel drives will make it. <laughs> we, we believe it, and we're going to do that. Back to you, honey. I'm sorry. No, I think we're done. <laughs> I think we're done. So everyone have a blessed day, and uh, we pray that the angels of the Lord protect you and your family, uh, even during this storm right now. But God is, God is a good God. Amen? Amen. So blessings to all. I, I will I will say in closing of this Smith go Kansas City um, and and the reason I, I say that I got a lot of good friends live in Kansas City and uh, uh, my, my good friend's daughter is a cheerleader uh, for Kansas City so he and his family are already down there it had been uh, uh, where and all that other stuff so all right father in the name of Jesus we bless you we thank you for your great 
grace and that you have bestowed upon us, the children of men. We thank you for your loving kindness. Continue, Lord God, to heal and deliver. Remember all of those that are sick. Remember our deacon Greg in the hospital, Lord, continue to touch his body and encourage him. Remember Brother Jerome Lott, continue to touch his body and to encourage him as well. Now unto him that is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before his throne to the only wise God, that there be glory and majesty and dominion henceforth now and forevermore. Let all of God's people say amen. amen. See you at seven o'clock, seven o'clock prayer uh, this evening um, on our, our Zoom and Facebook. The same, the the Pedro, same line, Pastor? Uh, uh, no, it will not. And it's it's in the chat. It's in okay. the chat column now. Okay. Uh, the, the ID okay. number is... If you want to write it down, I'll give it to you now. The, okay. the, the sign on ID is 873 yes. 8233 yes. 6240. I'm yes. going to say the ID again and then give you uh, the passcode. The ID number for the Zoom, seven o'clock prayer, is 873 8233. Six two four zero. All right. Anybody not get that? All right. The passcode. The passcode. If if you have to put a passcode to get in, is three four nine eight eight seven. Again, the passcode is three four nine eight eight seven. And while I'm giving it all to you. I'm going to have to write it down for myself. All right. Thank you, sir. Uh, so I could text it to you. That way you don't have to write it down. Great. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> you're, you're so kind and you're so wonderful. God, God bless. God bless. Bye -bye. Should pass this, um, Lady K, um, Monty was saying God bless. Mm -hmm. God bless. He's on Zoom? Yes, but he couldn't get the voice through. So he's been on oh, my okay. phone and listen. Listen on my through my phone. Okay. See you later. Don't say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm.